GM 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 welcome to web3 club in today's video what we're going to understand is how do we generate a base uri for uploading a bunch of nfts at the same time in my previous video what i had explained was how do you upload a bunch of nfts in one go but what i did not explain in the video was how do you even create the base uri so that the art or any image is associated with your nft in today's video we are going to upload all the art to ipfs and generate the metadata which will again be uploaded to ipfs to complete the video what we'll do is we'll generate a bunch of nfts all together in one go so that you can then go ahead and sell them on OpenSea, looks rare or any other marketplace if you were to go and do this one by one it will take a lot of time so this is why you are probably looking for a bulk upload on OpenSea or any other marketplace. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here. If you have any message or a suggestion, please leave it in the YouTube comments. Or if you have a specific question, come join my Discord server. There are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out. All right, with that said, let's get started. All right, first of all, what is IPFS? So IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System. In this file system, what we do is we take a file and generate a hash of that file based on the contents of the file. If the contents of the file changes, the hash of the file changes as well. So with the content hash or the file hash, uh, what we can figure out is what will be the content because the file will be hosted by one of the IPFS nodes. Now, each IPFS node will not have all the data. So generally what you will end up doing is paying a few services, some money to host your content on IPFS or you can host it yourself. But in that scenario, you will have to keep your server or computer running 24 seven. If you want to read more about IPFS, this is the website. You can go and check it out. The most common service that people use is called Pinata and that it's a very simple service to upload a single file to IPFS and keep it there. So what happens is Pinata pins that file to its server and makes sure the file remains as long as you keep paying for the service. This is exactly what I use in my project Minterium where people upload NFTs to their own smart contract. Unfortunately, this is not a free service and of course it sort of charges not a huge amount but like still some amount for the usage. Generally speaking, I would ask you to just use the service and move on because it's much better they will make sure that it is live and available all the time but in case you're not able to make these payments there are a few free solutions out there specifically nft.storage so what they do is they have um, sort of used filecoin network uh, with ipfs so they have basically created an api through which you know you upload your files and it is stored on the Filecoin network. The Filecoin network also runs the IPFS node and so the file is always available on the IPFS network uh, for anyone who's looking. And it's a free service because uh, what happens is they are making money by mining Filecoin. To get started, you just need an NFT.storage account which is free. Uh, that will give you an API, API key basically. Uh, that you can use with their nft up application nft up application is a very simple ui based application you can either use that or use a, a command line application like nftp which basically makes all these things very easy today we are going to use nft up application as you know that is much more user friendly because you don't really need to understand these developer tools all right so if you just click on this nft up application you will land on some on a page that looks like this just go ahead and download the correct application as per your os so for me i have already downloaded the mac application and let me just install it now just like in the previous video what i'm going to do is i have a uh, 27 nft images basically uh, which i have generated through dali or dolly or Del i don't know how to pronounce this but yeah with this service uh, and I'm going to upload these images to the IPFS network. You can see that these images are in a folder called images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the whole folder so that I can get one IPFS hash uh, and then I can append 0.png, 1.png, 2.png 
do that hash to find my file. So after opening NFT up, what I just need to do is select the folder, uh, drag it and drop it here so that it can start uploading. But before that, it is asking for NFT.storage API key. So to do that, what I'm going to do is create an account and then generate an API key. All right, once I have logged in, uh, you can see I've already uploaded some files, but what I, I just need to do is go to API keys and then click on new key and just give this one name. All right, so I'll just put it demo and I'll create an API key. Now, once this key is um, created, what I just need to do is copy it and paste it over here. And then I can just click continue. So once I did that, uh, it'll start uploading my files, the whole folder actually. Now this will of course take time depending on your internet and how big, how large the files are. Uh, so I'm just waiting for this to finish. Now you can see that the chunks are sort of uploading. So I hope the file upload should finish quickly. If you don't want to do with a comma, with a UI like this, what you can also do is go to this URL, which I'll share in the description and use this specific uh, CLI. I have used it in past multiple times and it works wonderfully. So you just need to do NFT, NFTP and then for folder, you just need to specify the folder path and it will just upload the whole folder content. Now it is still uh, uploading these. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate our metadata. But for metadata, what you need to understand first is that what are the metadata standards? So the three things that are defined in ERC721 specifically are name, description and image. These are the three things that are defined in the metadata extension in ERC721. But OpenSea has basically added a few things to that metadata specification. For example, attributes uh, is something that was added by OpenSea. And I think some other service as well, but OpenSea is the one which has one. So I think that is one that I will always remember. I think engine has properties as some way to add metadata, but I mean, they work uh, in a very similar fashion. So attributes is how NFTs get traits or properties on their OpenSea uh, landing page. And this is not true only for OpenSea, even looks rare and a bunch of other marketplaces show these properties. And this is a good idea to store or show these properties for a specific NFT uh, because that is how you are going to represent that NFT in your own application. So this is how uh, attributes look like. You can have an attributes in this format, which will be of type array, which will have objects of key and value pairs. Now the key will be trait type, which is let's say base. And then the value is starfish. So that trait is called base and the value is starfish in this case. Later on, it can be something like Nemo or I don't know, golden fish, whatever. Similarly, trait type is eyes. So the value can be big, small, medium, large, I don't know. Then there is a trait type, which is like integer. So you can have a trait type level and the value is five. You can also have decimals. So you just need, you don't need to have just like five. You can have 1.4, 1.7. Blah, blah, blah. And OpenSea, of course, allows you to add a display type as well. So a boost number aqua power sort of looks something like this. This is what a boost looks like. These are what uh, the integers would look like. So make sure to go through this metadata standards because it might be something that you need. But in today's video, we are going to focus on very simple thing. We just need the name, the description, the name will be token number and whatever the ID is. And the description will be this is the token number and then whatever the ID is. So let me just open my text editor and what we are going to do is we are going to write a Node.js script. If you don't know what Node.js is, it is an environment through which you know you can run JavaScript on your machine. So uh, the first thing that we will need to write uh, bring is fs. All right, so we need to require fs. Then I'm going to create a for loop uh, which will basically start from zero and it will it will go till 27. Why 27? Because in our specific example, we have 27 images named 0.png, 1.png, 2.png, 3.png, and so on and so forth. And then make sure that you know it is I plus plus. And then in the for loop, what we are going to do is first we are going to create a JSON object. Alright. 
Now in the JSON object, what we will do is we have this name that will be token number and then the number will be whatever the number is, right? So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is how uh, the name will look like. The next thing that we want is description, which again will be this is the description for token number and then again the token number all right so this is how you add the description and the third thing that i need is the image url now for this what i need is the ipfs hash for the folder on which we have uploaded the images all right so that will be again ipfs colon slash slash and then the hash which will look something like this and then slash and then uh, i think i need plus i then plus dot png now why dot png because uh, the the files that i'm uploading that you can see over here they are dot png files all right so 0 dot png 1 dot png so this is the the file address that i'm trying to build now this is the value that i need to finally uh, put in once the the files have the folder has uploaded and then the last thing uh, what we need is we need to write fs dot write file and then sync because i'm doing it synchronously uh, and then what we just need is the file name which will be i and then we need to put the content which will be json dot stringy phi and then we just put json here all right so this is a very simple way to generate a file structure over here so let me just copy the whole thing and let me open my terminal now in the terminal uh, i'm going to create a new folder called metadata and in the metadata i'm going to start my node uh, repl all right and i'm going to paste the code that i have so once i press enter after that i open the folder where i have generated the metadata files and you can see that uh, the folder has these files now i can uh, read the contents of this file using the cat command so cat zero is what this looks like it has name token and then description and then the image now the only thing that we are <laughs> yet to add is the ipfs hash which i haven't received yet but i had already done this via uh, some other way so i have that hash ready for me which is basically the hash that i used in my previous video so i'm going to just going to use that hash and move forward so you can see the cid that i have available which even you should be having uh, is like this so i can just copy the cid and i can put the ipfs hash here so this is the final file this final code that i need to run so i'm going to copy this once again go back to the terminal write node and let me open the repl again now paste the code again press enter and voila this is it so if i check at zero this time it has the ipfs value which is correct now the next thing that i need to do is upload the metadata that i've generated which is 0 1 2 3 4 up to 26 because these are 27 nfts so how do i upload the whole folder again so one way would have been to just put it on the ui over here once the upload succeeds what you will see is that you will have two results over here one for a smaller size which is the json files and the second for the larger size which will be the images so now what you need is to copy uh, this cid now the next thing that we will do is from the previous video we have already done we just need to copy the nft smart contract so i have already have the nft smart contract i can just go ahead and copy this smart contract this is available in the description down below so uh, i will go to remix uh, which is remix.ethereum.org and then here i will select a new file create a new file called my nft.sol uh, paste the value over here now instead of this base uri what i need to do is just go there and copy the json folders base uri so copy this and then remove this and paste it over here all right so this is the final base URI that we have. Now, uh, instead of my NFT, I want to call this something else, uh, something like base URI NFT, all right? <laughs> uh, uh, or short for pun. <laughs> so I can just call it base NFT, got it? So this is what I think the new code looks like. Then I will go ahead and select the latest compiler 
and just compile this compile this code of course you can make changes to this code if you want but this is the basic code which will help you generate a bunch of these nft so now the next thing that you do is you go here uh, in the deploy section and then make sure that you have your metamask available on this browser in my metamask i am connected to the rinke by test network uh, so that i can deploy to the rinke by test network I have some ETH in my Rinkabai test network and the next thing that I'm going to do is select environment here and select injected web3 alright so I select injected web3 and the metamask pop-up comes so I'll just uh, click next connect and boom done we are connected the next thing that I will do is click on deploy and when I click on deploy it will basically open up this metamask pop-up alright so I just click on confirm and the deployment will begin I just need to wait for the deploy to finish by the way once you upload everything via the ui this is how it will look like the cid you can copy just from here directly all right uh, now the deploy has finished uh, as you can see that i have an nft available over here now i have 27 nft so i'm going to write 27 over here for the mint part and then click on transact when i click on transact it will try to mint 27 nfts in one go all right so uh, i can just click confirm over here and wait for the transaction to finish now i've tested up to 10000 nfts in one go and this code has worked well for 10000 nfts i tried for 20000 it did not work so i don't know what is the correct value but 10000 is something that will work all right once the whole this thing is finished i can just copy the the nft smart contract address and then i can open testnets.opensea.io why testnet because i did it on rink by testnet if you do it on mainnet it will directly show up on the opensea mainnet the one there's one problem with testnet though it doesn't work all the time so if there's an issue just try a different testnet like a polygon testnet or something like that so yeah the next thing that i do is just go here and click on profile and then log in to, to openz basically once logged in you can see that i have these uh, nfts that are available on my profile uh, and these nfts have this collection called base uri nft that i have just created now if, of course i can go to the base uri nft collection and this is it this is how you basically upload a bunch of nfts in one go without requiring to sort of upload them one by one to openz and the good thing is this is not just on OpenSea, it's available everywhere. Even if I open LooksRare, you will see that this NFT is available. So the Rinkeby test network for uh, LooksRare is rinkeby.looksrare.org. The next thing that I can do is uh, I can log in and then check out my items. Now in the my items, you can see that there's a base URI NFT that is available. And the whole collection is sort of available right here just like that and this is how you upload a bunch of nfts together to the smart contract to the blockchain actually uh, and then that is where you know it resides and it's read by a bunch of marketplaces like OpenSea, looksware and others we have used ipfs in our specific example but you can of course put things on a centralized server if you want to be a little creative with that and with that this is up like this is how you upload a bunch of nfts i hope you like this tutorial if you do please make sure to hit that like button on youtube and subscribe to this channel i'm not getting any subscribers i'm really very demotivated at this point I don't know what to do especially with the bear market coming and everything like people are just not interested is that the case but i don't know if you have any message for me if you uh, want to give any suggestions please leave it in the youtube comments and if you have any specific question come join my discord server there are a bunch of people just like you and me who are trying to help each other out i hope to see you again next week uh, till then bye bye